All right, we have one more to talk about, the KF airfoil. KF airfoil. Now, now let's put a scenario here. We have a Cessna, and somehow the wings get blown off the Cessna. Accidentally. We don't know how it happens, it just happens. But we gotta get our Cessna back up in the air. Yeah. How do we do it? We don't uh, wanna take the time to cut you know, balsa wood ribs out and to, uh, to cover and, and to go the long way. We wanna get this thing back up in the air quick. Right. Maybe with foam. Okay. Sound good? Sounds easy. Well, with foam, we can make an airfoil too. And this is the uh, KF airfoil, which is designed by Klein Fogelman. Did I say his name right? I was gonna ask you. Viewers, you can tell us so I said the name right. Klein Fogelman, and this is a stepped airfoil. Now, it looks like it's a really, really goofy design. It looks like it'd have a lot of drawbacks, but what uh, Mr. Fogelman's idea was, was actually to create an airfoil, and as the air comes over the top here, there's actual turbulation, turbulence? Air pockets, we'll call them. Right. That, that form pockets. in each one of these steps. Thus, when the air molecules go over the wing, it actually is buffered by this reducing parasitic drag and causing an actual smooth flow of air. Right. So the little air pockets have less parasite drag than like the front. The of this parasites case. aren't on this one. As no, much. the parasites get blown right off. We just got them right. They right got right dragged, yeah. bro. Yeah. They, they got a shot. You know, some flea and tick remover. That's pretty deep. That is deep. Guys, don't be intimidated. If you want to go out and try to scratch build design your own airplane. Depending on how you want to fly, pick one of these airfoils and go with it. It's a real flexible thing. If it's not going to work, it's going to crash and you can just build a new one. Yeah, just do it again. Absolutely. Try, try again. What do you say we go ahead and put yeah, this wing put on this real on. quick? Okay. Now, something I noticed different about these wings is that there's no dihedral to them like there is to the original Cessna, yeah. Cessna yeah. wings. So why? so why isn't it? Because mm -hmm. we're lazy. Uh, um, it's a lot easier to build a flat wing than a wing with dihedral. I see. What we're giving up is a little bit of the uh, stability. Right. Uh, when dihedral wings bank, they like to kind of try to self-correct a little bit, yeah. depending on how much dihedral you have. So we're giving up a little bit of that, but we do gain some strength. There's still no struts on the Cessna. Right. And uh, Chad actually built this wing, and uh, he has a uh, Fiberglass two or fiberglass rod to the side, okay. and also uh, carbon fiber uh, sticks in the back. If you see right here, yeah. So uh, that's what gives it the strength. Uh, anytime you have a break in the wing, you do have to have special uh, ways of uh, making it stronger. And when you have a really thin air cord, it's just uh -huh. really hard to make it strong. I see. So uh, yeah, we but went. The flat. control surfaces are a little bit bigger too, aren't they? Yeah, they are a little so bit bigger. So that'll help with your stability. Exactly. We we don't okay. really care about stability as much as, as control in windier weather, All right. uh, which we tend to have in a while. So, yes, we do. Yeah, we'll see how this goes. Okay. You want to do it? Yeah, let's do it. All right. Well, <laughs> lift definitely isn't an issue. Yeah. About three inches. And ailerons are very effective. As in the other one, as we talked about before, the ailerons were not uh, very effective at all. And uh, this fly is amazing. Obviously, I like every airplane, but if you look here, the plane handles the wind real nicely. It's not flying at a nose high attitude. And even through all, all uh, wind uh, air speeds, it's still flying real nice. So thanks KF for the design. Yeah, very efficient design. Uh, we're generating lift with a really, really weird looking airfoil, and that's a cool thing. So let's see what it does, and uh, we'll get in the wind and see how it rolls. It rolls really nice, really fast too. Now the original Cessna we reviewed didn't have a very good roll rate. It was designed very scale and the ailerons were very, very tiny. It was very anemic. Uh, this is not anemic at all and it flies beautifully. Let's go ahead and do a stall real quick and see if it has any tip stall uh, tendencies here. Okay. Not bad at all. I'm very, very pleased with that. Nice uh, wing. Yeah. Hey Chad, how long did it take you to build this? Uh, three hours. Took, took three about three hours, hours of, uh, for Chad to build this and uh, it'd take a lot longer to build a uh, an actual balsa wood airplane. So it works. And it flies good upside down too. So you, if you had a mishap with your Cessna like yeah. we did with ours, yeah, three hours and you're back up in the three air. Three hours and you're good to go. It's a very, very nice flying airplane. I like it a lot. Well, let's see if we can get it down in one piece. What do you say? Sure. All right, try. so folded uh, Klein Fulgerman modified airfoil. KF. Is KF. Kentucky Fried airfoil. Yeah, it's a winner in my book. Okay. Bring it in, nice and easy. There we go. Nice. No wheel pants stands either. Ah, uh, we took them off. All right, guys. Took off the pants. So well. hope if you learned anything out of this is don't be intimidated by different airfoils. Just know what you want to do with an airplane. 
pick the airfoil that corresponds with that flight characteristic right. and build and have fun. Sure. So, so we hope